Hello everyone. I've got a pretty useless mod I did a while ago. Um, well, a couple of days ago. I've only just gotten the cable now in the mail, so I can actually test whether it worked and spoiler it does. So what it is, is it's a, uh, it's just a laptop CD drive modded to be running off USB and run with the top lid like removed. So this is normally the switch. So what happens is when this is closed, these switches flip on. But I've actually removed the rest of the guts to um, eject itself. So if you press the front button, nothing happens. It can only be pulled off with the tool. Um, otherwise, if you flick it on, it spins. If you flick it off, then it stops. So let's give it a test. There we go, if I flipped it on, it might spin. There we go, nothing. Let's put in a CD. Very simple mod actually. I had like a whole shitload of uh, laptop CD drives in my cupboard, but yeah, here's a little mini disc. But yeah, it works, it shows up. So I thought it would be fun to uh, actually watch a CD burn in real time. I've never actually seen it before. Um, actually, and I've never, since I've got the cord, never actually pushed the eject button to see what happens. Oh, okay, that's what happens, I guess. It just makes it stop for a minute. But uh, because the switch is always on, it's like the disc never got ejected. All right, cool. So, I'll pull it out. Let's um, burn something. Right, yeah, so I got my DVD. I was going to burn a copy of Exubuntu or Ubuntu. I don't know how to pronounce it. Basically, some build on Linux. Um, but uh, yeah, essentially, what this is, I'll get a, another drive out of the cupboard. Here's another one. It's a bog standard CD drive, and then I just got a like $5 cord off eBay for uh, putting that into USB. Um, it doesn't need to be powered USB or anything. The reason I made it <laughs> was most of my desktop DVD drives and that only burn at 16x speed, and which the PlayStation 1 doesn't like. And then I had an idea, I was like, huh, PlayStation 1's a top loader. What if I had a top loader drive for a computer? And then I came up with this bullshit excuse of an idea. Alright, um, let's burn this. Yes, I guess I'll have to flick it on. See if it shows up in the drive list. Might go 16x speed, should be enough. Let's give it a go. Alright, we're burning. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You actually see the, uh, the light brighten up as it goes. My camera doesn't do it justice, but it like shines right through the disc. Yeah, yeah. Oh, something you could technically do with this is, let's say you had two scratch CDs of the exact same thing. Uh, you started reading one of the discs and then you quickly, halfway through its reading, past the scratch bit, you flip the disc to the other one. You could do a swap trick like that, but with the speed this is going, I probably won't want to be touching that. Um, it's possible to do with the PlayStation 1, but uh, I ain't doing that <laughs> with this little USB thing. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, try out some other stupid mods. Here's a close-up of the little switch. Very proud of how well that sits. It just goes literally underneath the disc. Whew. Anyway.